Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a chance to catch up with Keith, Keith Hansen here today after the race. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Uh, tell us a little bit about your athletes' uh, races today. Okay, we had a um, couple couple real solid performances. We're real real big breakthroughs for us. Uh, certainly, Trent Briney finishing fourth was a surprise to a lot of people, but he'd been running some extremely good workouts and. Uh, you know, we knew he could hang in there, and he gained a lot of confidence throughout the run. And uh, you know, certainly just missed making that team. But you know, who knows? With three of the top guys being our three best 10,000 meter runners, he still may end up on the team. We're excited about that. And Clinton Barron ran another smart race and got a fifth place finish. And uh, you know, Brian Sell ran an extremely courageous race and got out there and pushed the pace. And uh, you know, was leading by one minute at the 16 mile mark and looking fresh and. You know, I, I was a little afraid when he was out that early, but at 16, I was starting to think, you know, maybe you can just pull this off. And, you know, the marathon's a tough event, and a lot of things happen in the last 10 miles. And, you know, unfortunately, he got caught by the pack, I believe, around after 20 miles. It was 21 or 22 miles that they caught him, and uh, he had a rough last couple, last couple miles. But overall, a real good team performance. We had uh, eight athletes all together, and all eight were able to finish and uh, have respectable performances. Super. Now you guys have, how, how long has the club been going on? We, we started the program in August of 99. Okay, so you guys started this program uh, basically with a bunch of young guys who nobody knew. Um, and five years later, you've got uh, six guys at the Olympic Charles Marathon. Did you ever think that you would get this far with the club? No, that, that was our goal. I and mean, we have pretty high lofty goals, but, uh, but I, I, I guess to be honest with you, yeah, I did think we'd get this far with the club. And I think we're going to get even better. So I'm excited about it. That's great. Now, have there been have there been any bumps to this point? Um, you know, you guys, you guys have got some athletes in, and you've lost some athletes. Um, but it looks like you guys are just on your way to the top. We we've definitely been bumps along the way. I mean, it's a these are lofty goals, and we have you know, fine runners have strong personalities, and uh, and, and Kevin and I have. Uh, a way that we think things should be done and uh and you know some clashes along the way but usually it's uh normal things and i don't think a coach that agrees with his athlete on everything is going to be a very good coach we're out there to be coaches and not necessarily their best buddies so sometimes there's clashes but uh overall um it works pretty well right uh what do, what do you guys got planned now for the upcoming season uh, what's the next uh, big goal big race well the next big race is actually uh i gotta leave on a plane in about an hour to get Indianapolis to watch our guys run the 12K in the cross country championships. We've got five guys running the 12K tomorrow. We had four women run the 8K this morning and one male run the 4K this morning. So we got a whole other group out in Indianapolis, and uh, that's a big thing. But after that, um, we got to look at things and see what makes sense for the season. Track trials for some guys, and you know whether or not we get guys on the marathon team. So there's a lot of things up in the air right now. Great. Well, best of luck to you in the future. Congratulations on a great day, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the uh, outdoor trials. Thank you very much, Tim. Thanks, Coach.